Hi guys, how are you? My name is Mark Jologi Mugai. I am an online tutor. I make online tutorial videos. My YouTube channel is official Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. And you can also like my page on Mark Mugai, Facebook page on Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. Don't miss it. Uh, in the previous video I've shown you about camps. Now I want to show you about followers. Remember, camps must also have another element called a follower. Now, uh, in the next subtopic, we have follower. And now we'll also look at the classification of follower. As you have looked at the classification of camps, we saw that there are two. So we also have a classification of the follower. And this is according to the surface in contact. The surface in contact. This is the surface you're talking about. So this is the cam. This is the cam. This is the shaft. This is the cam. So this surface in contact, where they are contacting the surface that is contacting them, that's where we classify them. So you can see the surface where it, where it, where where it's contacting. It is different from this. This one is this one this one is circular, but the other one that I've shown you here, this one is uh, a sharp edge. So we classify them according to the surface in contact. And so the first, uh, the very first, the very first, the very first, the very first. Uh, uh, the very first classification we have knife edge follower i have shown you in the previous past paper question in a previous past paper question where a student was asked in 2020 a student was asked in this past paper question of 2020 you can see very well like i've shown you here there was a time that they asked they told you sketch the following types of calm followers you can see very well because uh if a student was careful here, the, then he, the student will have obtained marks. You see, sketch knife, sketch flat fist, and sketch a roller. I want to sketch for you which is six marks. Now see, the, 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 see, see what they were asking you. This is what they were basically asking you. You sketch knife edge follower. So when the contacting end of the follower has a sharp knife, has a sharp knife edge, it is called knife edge follower as shown. And this is how the student was supposed to sketch. This question, the student, this question, this is the first part, the first Roman one. The, the student would have answered it like this. And this is what he should have sketched. So he would have, this is a knife edge follower. This as I have labeled. Then this is the cam. Then this is the cam shaft. This is the cam shaft, which is a radial or disc cam. He will have gotten two marks just by sketching that. That is the first classification. The second classification, we have the second classification here, which is a roller follower. Which is a roller follower. We have the second classification, which is a roller follower. The roller follower here, the roller follower. When the contacted end of the follower is a roller, it is called a roller follower. When the contacting end, the contacting end, this is the contacting end. This point, this point is a contact. When it is when it is a roller, it is called a roller follower, and this is how you draw your roller follower like that, as you can see. Now, in our past question, past paper question, you were supposed to sketch it in Roman number three. You were supposed to it was a, you were supposed to sketch it this one roller. If the student was able now to sketch this that I'm showing you, where the contacting surfaces is roller like this and label like this, you'll have gotten the two marks. But that's by this point, he has four marks. Then we have the next one. We have another, the third one, which is the flat, flat, flat fist, flat fist, flat fist, a flat fist, flat fist uh, follower. As you can see very well, we have flat fist or mash room follower. When contacting end of the follower is perfectly flat face, it is called a flat fist follower. As you can see again in this past paper question, what were they asked to sketch? Well, to sketch the cam follower of a flat faced follower. This is the word they were asked to sketch, which is six marks. Again, if the student was able to sketch where the contacting face between the cam and the face here between this, this is flat, and sketch this the cam and label it very well, then this student will have gotten six marks. By this point, you have six marks. In your examination room imagine you have you already have six marks just sketching the three that i've shown you i have shown you the knife the flat face and the roller so 
Uh, from there, we also have another subtopic uh, on camps, and which is a subtopic, it is the motion of the follower. We are almost now uh, drawing the, the profile of the camp. Remember the question, the section B, the section B part is telling you to construct a cam profile and cam displacement. Now, the motion of the follower here, as you are saying, the motion of the follower, that's what helps us now to draw the displacement. The displacement, it is just the, the travel, how the follower is traveling, this, how the travel of the follower is. When this thing, this is the, the part that is rotating. So when this is rotating, it will lift, it will lift this, this follower up. When it is on this other part like this here, the follower will come down. So when we are told to construct a cam profile, we are only told to construct the motion of this, of this uh, cam, the motion of this cam, how it is. But you cannot draw the cam profile without the cam displacement diagram or the travel. The follower during its travel may have one of the following motions. The follower might, will have its motion. What are the motions of the follower? We have the uniform velocity. We have the simple harmonic. We have the uniform acceleration and retardation. We have the, uh, all of the above or combined. All of them combined. All of them combined. That's what we are talking about. All of the above. Those are the, the, the travel of the motions of the follower. So now let us look at the displacement, velocity and acceleration diagrams when moving with simple harmonic motion, uniform velocity motion and uniform acceleration mo and retardation motion and all of the above all, all of them combined combined subscribe to my youtube channel the next one i will now show you how to construct now this that i'm telling you the travel the time travel the time travel of the follower god bless you